Oh, cool. This is unbelievable. I mean, guys, this is seriously unbelievable that I'm sitting at my house. I've got intel from my guy Connor that there was a lot of offshore salvage recorded in this area. Lots of surface debris. This dive should be more than worth the effort. This can't be good for your eyes. The boat is up there. No one's been exactly authorized to run salvage operations in these waters, so we gotta act fast. Rookie, I'm sending you down with the recovery drones. They'll grab anything that isn't nailed down. I just need you eyes on to assess if there's anything of value once we hit bottom. Look at that, you can look down. Oh, there's the drone. Am I moving yet? It's unknown waters down there, but we'll be with you every step of the way. The only thing cooler would be if you could see your hands, like if you wore a glove. And so your hand would show up. Hey, JJ, can I get a systems check? Roger that. All systems Here he a comes. Okay, Cal, establishing link to salver suit in three, two, one. Showtime. Scope's Whoa. Right I'm going to stand up, guys. I might fall over here. Why is it getting so dark? Oh, it's, I guess I'm too tall to stand up. Oh no, we're going into an abyss. There's some sea turtles. Stay sharp. We may be able to ID what's going on from drone footage. They'll relay anything interesting to your call oh, unit. Holy crap, guys! This Next is actually kind of scary here. The swivel chair is key. Okay. Anytime you lean over, you feel like you're going to tip over. And standing is basically not an option here. Maybe I'll learn how to stand later. Yeah, it's probably a sh freaking shark. Oh, crap. JJ sounds like... What does that mean? We're getting multiple pings on the scopes. This looks like a shark could swim right into it. There's a, some manta rays. They're out of focus because this helmet is kind of blurry right now. And I cleaned the lenses off. It's because it's not tight enough. But it's pretty damn tight. Huh. Alright, that's better. Whoa, look at that thing. And it goes right under you. The fact that you have no legs, though. Ah! Something hit me in the head. This is really cool. They look like they could fit right in this crack, though. What is that? Oh, uh, that's the bottom. Alright, it's not as deep as I thought it was going to be. I hope the audio's coming in. I know it came in and out of the feed last time. And I hope the PlayStation Network is working. Lots more debris. Something big definitely went down here. And it looks recent, too. Connor, where the hell have you sent me this time? Am I the woman? Just lit up for a moment, Cal. Uh, something's moving around down there. Alright. Something scary's gonna happen. Oh, god damn that thing. I feel like it's hard to look up. And then when you look like down. It's gonna be a tight fit. Oh crap. Oh no. Watch the cables and don't swing the cage around. You got that? There's it does go deeper. This is seriously risky, but it's the quickest way down. Alright, lights went out. 
and now it's quiet and I've got no radio contact and all I can see is a jellyfish. scared man I'm freaking scared <laughs> I'm trying not to cry like I did in the other videos <laughs> look at all the jellyfish the helmet feels like it's about to fall off I have to grab it and push it towards my face to see clear oh Jesus the Sometimes it shakes a little bit when you turn around and it makes you dizzy. Oh god, still going down. Ah! Helmet. What the? What is that? Pirate ship? Where in the hell does that come from? I'm it's not on any chart I've seen. No I'm shaking. So damn cagey. JJ, any ideas on the origin of that vessel? Uh, none, boss. There's no signature coming from her. I know submarine? Anything at large going down in this sector? Guess we better take a Lava? damn good look at her then. Well, she's definitely military. This is recent. What is that? Nuclear? You mean like the army's gonna come get their or the navy? Okay, kill the damn Klaxon. Rookie, this is really hot. We haven't got a lot of time, but your suit will keep you safe for a while. The lava. So we finally hit the jackpot and she's a damn nuclear sub with no known origin. Oh, there's the other half. Just great. I can't see behind me, it's, it's like so dark. Okay, rookie, let's Who the hell is Connor? As we can on this wreck. I'm not walking away with nothing. How are we doing on max dive time? Again, this... Dive good, Cal. Radiation could be more of a problem. This appears to just be... Shit, the a movie. Just lit up again. And not a game. Okay, keep an eye out for falling debris. We don't have a lot of time. Keep your eyes peeled uh -oh. for anything of interest. The drone will go. take care of the rest. I'm getting They're falling. Heat signature off something down there. What is this? The radiation source. What is that blue thing coming towards me? What are these blue things? Holy crap. Oh god. Oh please don't. Oh god. I'm just freaking out a little bit here. Don't hit me! Jesus. That's what Connor wanted us to find. They that's where they just want me to look. Easy does it. Careful with that cargo. Let's not set anything off down there. We need whatever it is in one piece. Let's get it topside and see what we have. I got a feeling we're not the only ones after that crate. Hold on. We're picking up something large moving towards you. Where? Ah, there she blows. That wasn't that scary yet. I saw it. The shark. Yes, yeah, swoop. Uh, my bat my controller's gonna run out of batteries. Ah. No, don't up. Oh, please don't blow up.
There's no rumble. What are they doing? They're pulling me up. Stuck on. Oh no. JJ, what the hell's wrong with that winch? Impact of falling rocks, Cal, screwing with the winch line. JJ, for Christ's sake, we've got to pull them up. I think a gaming chair that vibrates would make this much cooler. Because the controller's not even vibrating when he hits me. And it's not a jump scare. Yet. Here he comes. Ah. That's great. No, no. That's great, Mr. Shark. Where are you going? What's going on down there? I've got no front of my cage. Can I fight him? Oh my gosh. This is... Oh god. Oh god. No! I think there's gonna be something bigger. Punch him in the nose. Uh, I'm, no, there's no uh, way. Get me up into the freaking crack. No. Uh, yeah, take that, shark. It's the our, it's the navy. I have a feeling we have what they're looking for. It's the Russian navy. What have you gotten me into? What? What? Challenge completed. I earned a trophy. All right, so let me just take this off here for a second. No, what's up, Goldheart? No, you can't move. You, you just sit there. It's another one of those... Basically, it's a movie that plays, and you just sit there and enjoy the VR, so it, I guess that's not very much fun for you guys. How's everyone's Sunday going? Man, I'm sweating, though. This thing really makes you sweat. Uh, I'm going to do the next part, the coral reef dive. So that shark thing was sort of scary, but I don't know. Can every can you hear me okay? And any volume issues? I can't really test anything out. I know the audio was cutting in and out last time. Uh, I do need to plug my controller in. That's the USB. Alright, guys, give me a minute here. Oh, give me a minute here. I've got to...
find everything. Alright guys, I'm back. I am not a new player, I am the same awesome player that I always was. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this cor coral reef before I take a break. Uh, but to update you on if I'm dizzy or not, I am not. That one was not bad. And I think I've determined that it was the... The game where you're in the subway, the scary game, that's the one that makes you really sick. I still don't like the way this helmet is set up. It's very blurry. You have to push it onto your face. And if you tie it up too low, high, maybe you have to squeeze. I don't know. It's on there pretty tight now. All right, select a new dive. That was too long. It was kind of cool, but it was way too long. All right, coral reef. Enjoy the spectacle of an ocean reef teeming with life from a static cage. I think I'm facing the correct direction. There's so many wires. I think I just played the fun one. This might not be even fun. Maybe I should switch games. So yeah, I decided to stream this on Here's Barry instead of Where's Barry. So, well thanks for you guys who are on this channel. It's, pr it's sort of a secret still, I mean, People aren't gonna switch over to this. Only the diehard Crimson Army. Uh, nobody's even talking to me. Do I just, like, sit here? Or are they gonna drop me down the hole again? supposed to be fun somebody anybody it did say static cage Challenge, sit there for one minute and don't get bored and you complete it and get a trophy. Alright, I'm just gonna finish this off. That was probably... I don't know, if that was the first thing I ever did in the VR helmet, I would think maybe that coral reef thing was... Go oh, look where I am. Haven't been here before. Hey, it's moving. And 
and as you can see you can look around but what they do in a lot of these games I've noticed so far is when you look behind you they don't really it's give you much stuff to look at like it's very blur all the cool stuff is like oh here comes some fish And this game is part of the VR Worlds game, which comes with the bundle, but is $40 if you don't get the bundle. And it includes five games. This is the only one I've played so far. It's the only one that looked good. And it's not as good as I thought it would be. It is cool. But it's not really a game. And the VR helmet does feel like goggles. The music's interesting as well. Which just comes up a lot on this channel because these games we're playing aren't super fun. But they have cool music. Maybe there's a secret second level. You know what? They'll come out with VR Worlds 2. That's what they're gonna do. They'll have part 2 of the shark attack. And again, to give you an update, my stomach feels fine playing this game. Once or twice, it skipped a little bit, like the graphics skipped, and it felt kind of uncomfortable. Why are they making me do this? This is the same thing we did with the shark, except nobody's talking to me. Better be some other cool uh, fish down here, or we're just gonna go through the same thing, it's the same jellyfish. Are you serious? Well, I'm glad I didn't play this on the main channel. Now, L1 Gaming sent me a link to an another horror game that's going to come out soon. But there's no demo for it or anything yet. Just a trailer. And I can't tell you what that's called. I don't remember. This is the same thing. I mean, it is super cool. Like right there, it's ah, skipped again. I don't think you're ready for that jelly. half of the same thing. Why is that even an option? Challenges remaining. All challenges complete. Well, that was quite the disappointment. What's up, new people? Dean, Bizarro.
Yeah, this is called VR Worlds. And I'm playing it just because I paid $500 for this stupid VR thing. So I will play the games. The demo disc is probably better than this. Because that was cool, but it's not worth $40. No. So next I'm going to do the luge game. And maybe one day I'll figure out how to put this helmet on to where it actually fits because it's not fitting. I also have a big af curly afro and it's not helping. <laughs> All right, guys. These are the different games that it comes with. I know a bunch of new people came in here. I started pretty quick. London Heist, VR Luge. That's some kind of space game. All right, I'm gonna do this and Feel the exhilaration of an illegal street race as you speed downhill, weaving through traffic. Post your best times to online leaderboards controlled with the VR headset. I'm not going to post my best time to uh, online leaderboards. <laughs> race through a back-to-back -back series of tracks and reach the end of the tour before time runs out. Telling me to go online and post my tour. Alright, so from the description, I can already tell this game is going to be stupid. And from this rolling ball in front of you, I can tell you I am going to feel quite sick. And you steer with your head. So, that's weird. And it's a black screen. Come on, at least put a loading up. So run one of four, so there's only four tracks. This is... Whoa. Okay, guys, now this... Oh, sh... Okay, this is like throw up central right here. If you look at your body. All right, I can't. I can't do it. Holy crap, that was horrible. I Has anyone ever played that and not felt like they were going to throw up? It's not fun. It is not fun. <laughs> Oh my god, that was not fun at all. So your body's like in front of you, and you're, but I'm sitting up, so it's so weird. It's like my neck is coming out, and then after one second of going down the hill, you just start to feel sick, and once I turned the corner, that was the end of that, so I will never play that ever again. You can actually play it by taking the helmet off. I'll do that for a minute. The helmet's not on. It's a lot easier. Just to give you guys an idea. So in theory, it would be fun. But it just makes you too sick. Alright, you guys get it. You get the idea. Alright, Killerette has suggested we play London is Falling. So, we will play that. Oh no, stop it. Please. Yep, no, stop. Oh my gosh. That was five seconds and I, I was going to die. Are you sure? Yes. Alright, so, so far VR Worlds has one unplayable game because you will throw up. And one game that's pretty cool but not a game. Alright, London's calling. Where are you? London Heist. 
Step into London's criminal underworld in a gritty gangster thriller. Played with two motion controllers or a wireless controller. Alright. Alright. If you insist, I will play it with two... Uh-oh. Alright, alright. Sorry guys, setting up these... Alright. So far I've found that these controller things are more annoying. All right, he All right, guys, here we go. Sorry. I had to set up the motion controllers. I don't know what button is X. Come on. Something work. What? X. Yes. Got it. Wait, that was an X, that was... Where the hell is X? Alright, guys. <laughs> I figured it out. Two motion control... What? And if you were wondering, this two motion controller thing... is super annoying. It's making me press X for some reason. Ugh, you can't even play. Alright, so I've got two motion sticks in my hands, you know, those things. And it keeps making me press X to play, and X is not the center button. Okay, so I've got these hands. Clap, clap, clap. Hold T. What? Okay. Drop the can in the tray. Oh, hey. What if I chuck it? Should I throw it? Ah. <laughs> uh. What the hell? Where's it going? Alright, sorry. Got it! Wow, I'm so good. Ooh, it's a gun. Pick up the magazine with my other hand. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> that was awesome. You just put your left hand up to your right hand like this and jam it in. Oh, drop the gun by doing this. Yeah. <laughs> good good call, Killerette. And your name... <laughs> I think I understand your name is supposed to be like Kylo Ren from Star Wars. <laughs> okay. All right, we we already know this. Okay, there we go. Story. Which one's easier, gangster or foot soldier? Lethal combat, the full one. We'll just do that one. Bullets are falling from the sky bullet uh, 
Well, it's cool to use your hands to do stuff. Let's watch. I don't think the surround sound is working very well. Frank, here we got a problem. I think we got faith in folks. Now, Serena's gone. Thieving bastard pulled a switch. See, just fucking right up. No, no, Frank. I don't know where she is. But I'm worried. This is the camera. It's the lantern demo part two. Hit him. I'm gonna punch him. You see this? <laughs> slap, slap, slap. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Frank. <laughs> Where'd you Take go? Chances, did you? All right. Surround sounds working. Light. You see, because I'd say they're pretty fucking limited, wouldn't you? Stay away. Stop. In the name of the law. Very simple. Go in quietly. I challenge you to a, a duel. Fake, but oh no, you have to do a little fucking disappearing act. Why are you? Some sort of fucking magician. Ooh, magician. I've got a little magic trick of my own I'd like to show you. Is it called punching me in the face? I think he's going to fucking love this one. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh god. Come on, my hand is right there, man. The Alright. Okay. This is really effed up, man. How can they have a guy point a gun at your face in a game? into this mess. Yeah, play that sax. Probably should like the... Private meeting. The door stays shut. That's pretty awesome, man. What's up, bro? How you doing? French Tony's dead. French Tony was a bastard. I had to let him go. Need a light? He'd been talking to the Russians. <sighs> it lets you freaking smoke, man. That is Russian fucking money. It actually sucks in when you suck in and blows My when you blow. That's what she said. Yeah. He always say you can't make money from a prison cell or a coffee. He's spot on. Pig, my enemy of VR. This Russian lot what is this? Oh, it's co is that Coke? Is that a bag of coke? Or is it a towel? You know how you bring down Come on. You make him look a mug. You do that, and he'll come at you so loud, so strong. This guy's got rings on his fingers. And that's why. Tonight, we are going to help our friends oh, it's the out. one thing he cares about the most. His beloved diamond, Serena. 
Whoops. Now yeah, there should be. You'll need these. Mobile phone? Mobile. Give me my mobile. It's clean. Ditch it when you're done. Earpiece. Give me my Bluetooth. Keeps your hands free. Oh, hello. Put it in my ear. For the job, not the horses. Now, I've made sure the alarms are switched off. So all you've got to do is walk in, get the diamond, and walk out again. Easy. It's supposed to be like Guy Ritchie movie. There's something else I want to talk to you about. It's about the business. What's your business? Yeah, there's a lot riding on this. A lot for you personally. I've known you for a Okay. Oh, this clown. Oh, I said no one was allowed up here. Yeah, I know one, am I, Frank? I've got any security passes you asked for. Those boys done them on a computer. Thanks, Mickey. Now they are the fucking bollocks. We're talking. Right. Okay. What are we talking about? What are you, the old Bill? It's none of your fucking business. Now go bring the van round. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, Frank. <laughs> Cheerio. Cheerio. As I was saying, I've known you since you was little. You've been part of the family since we took you in. Look how close he That's is. That's what I see you as. Family. Now. Hello. I'm looking to take nice the kitty. Backseat. Enjoy some of what we've built up over the years. Show me my gun in this bag here. Yeah. Give us a light. Now, I love Mickey, but he can barely take a shit on his own. Somebody is texting me. But you, on the other hand, have got what it takes. When the time comes, the old tosser. Keep this little kingdom out of the hands of men like Kozlov. But you've got to worry. If we're sitting. You know what this is? No, I don't this know what this is. It's the old business. Trapped between the pages of a little black book. You pull this off tonight. It's all yours. So you have to play this with the motion sticks, or it else it won't be fun. This tosser. All right, let's go. Play some cool music. Ah, oh, this thing hurts my face. Oh no! Now we're back in the. Chair. The gun pointed at our face. Oh, good, he's gonna blow towards us. Wonder what happened between then and now. You can actually swat the smoke away. But I'm not tied up. What you looking at? So this takes cutscenes to a whole new level, man. You and me are gonna play a little game. So I just called? read. I just checked out some of your comments. What's up, new people? The Outlast is not going to have VR compatibility, the new one. We're all wondering if you know where she is. I don't know where she is, man. I'm going to make her into crack, you little piece of shit. I don't give a monkey's fuck what Frank thinks about you. I don't trust you. And do you know why? Because there's only two people that could have taken Serena today. You or me. And we're fucking me. Now you tell me where I... Fuck's sake. <laughs> Frank. Yes. Frank says F you. I can't do it. They won't let you middle finger him. It's your lucky day. He wants to talk to you. What's up, bro? Right. I understand we have a little dilemma. Forget Mickey for a minute, just 
to tell me, in your own words, exactly what happened. Well, okay guys, so when I put the phone farther away from my head, the noise got softer. When I came close to my right ear, it came to my right ear. And when I moved it left, it went left, which is pretty awesome. All right, give me that key, man. Oh, I got a gun. It's a little buggy. No. What the hell? All right, drop that. Drop it. Oh, you can't lean on the desk because it's not there. <laughs> I think I ducked. All right, drop the gun. Remember the plan. Get some <laughs> I didn't mean to shoot it. I meant to drop it. Shit! I thought Frank sorted the alarms. I'll bring the van round. You're gonna have to shoot your way out. Where the fuck are these guys? I just shot that guy like 20 times. Don't fucking get the flashlight. <laughs> I think I just died. What? Oh, my... I don't know what happened. I don't know if you can hear me or not. suck Shit, I thought Frank sorted the alarms. I'll bring the van round. You're gonna have to shoot your way out. Alright, how do I pause this game? I'm like sitting in my chair. It's not letting me shoot. <sighs> Alright guys, this is very buggy. If I stand up it won't let me shoot unless I keep my hands next to myself. Where's he coming from? See, it won't let me... You have to keep your hands like right next to your chest. Or it won't let you shoot.
Where the hell is he coming from? Oh shit. The only thing that's not fun about this is it doesn't let you aim correctly unless you keep your hands right next to the side. And I recommend you have a chair. I can't hit that guy. Uh, I don't know if this looks fun to you. It's sort of fun, but the controls make it very hard. I got the diamond! <laughs> Alright guys, that was, um... Sweating. Bad aiming. I don't even know if you can hear me anymore. Playtime's over. Oh, mate, you're a legend. You lit that place up like a fucking Christmas tree. You look like a ruthless little bastard. I'm proud of you. Boy, keep your eyes peeled. All right. Clear, yeah. You're driving on the wrong side of the road! <sighs> Your mirrors. He pulled it away. What radio station you guys want to listen to? Where's the gun? All right, it's bullets. Is there a gun? Am I missing it? Give me the gun. Make yourself useful. All right, guys. This gun's easier to shoot. Yeah, yeah. OK. 
Get up. You dropped it. I died. <sighs> and the game quit. I just tried to put this put the beer in as a an ammo. Black and white means you're about to die. I just hit him like 50 times. Uh oh, I'm gonna die. Damn it. Oh, I'm sweating bullets here. See, if it starts me in the beginning, and I don't know why it puts me in this world, this must be loading. God damn it, I can't get the soda in my face. This is frustrating me. I thought this was supposed to be fun. <laughs> I'm like dripping wet. <laughs> That's what she said. Alright, I'm giving it one more go. And then I'll switch games because I just can't do it anymore. Because I'm sweating like freaking crazy. Alright. Whoa. Got him. Get him, get the driver. Got him. These motion controllers are gonna smash and break.
Damn it, I'm gonna die. I'm hitting him. What am I supposed to do with this? Shut up! It won't load! The gun switched hands. And then it wouldn't load. Ugh. And if that starts over, that was right at the end, too. Unbelievable. Damn it, one all right, one more. Oh, oh good. Keeps dropping the ammo. <laughs> I'm dying here. Oh, it's 100 degrees doing this. And these motion controllers just keep smashing into each other and they cost 50 bucks each and they're gonna break. Ammo crates. Uh. I'm shooting the ammo crate. Oh. The alarms. 
What does that say? Fucking alarm, sir. There's no more ammo. Frank said he had those alarms sorted 100%. He fucking lied to us. He's clearing ranks. Look what happened to Frank Stone. Littering. He's fucking mugging us off. He never thought we'd get the diamond. He thought we'd be fucking dead by now. Fuck. So why are you gonna kill me later? Or did this happen after that tie-up? Serena. Serena Williams? We got Frank's beloved Serena. And he wants <laughs> He pulls his hand out. He holds it out and then you try to grab it and he pulls it away. Every time the different characters do that. It's pretty funny. Whew. Well. So this game is actually pretty fun. It's hard to aim. And you sweat like a freaking maniac. Oh. Yeah, I'm enjoying it a little bit. But I am pretty sick of it. So I'm going to switch over to a new game. I hope it saves it. It's too intense for me. I like to walk around and explore. I don't like to be fired at every second. What's up, Zessine? I'm just going through the VR Worlds games. Let's have a bit of privacy, shall we? Now, as you might know, there's a lot riding on this. A lot for you, personally. So do I have to get my hands dirty, or does one of you two want to tell me what the fuck happened? Hey! Easy, Frank. I'm just about to get going on a fucking blowtorch. You've gone mad. It's not the Dark Ages, Mickey. No, Frank. It will be the fucking Dark Ages once I burn their fucking eyes out. What the fuck are you playing at? Put that away, Mickey. No. I do have a no, fan. Frank. Good idea. The alarms? The fucking alarms. I think we had this... Ah. Oh. Sorry. You what? Frank's Tony. Frank's Tony was a fucking grass. And you know what we do to grasses round here, Mickey. Don't try and talk your fucking way out of it, Frank. I'm sick and tired of you fucking mugging me off. You set us up. You've done that. No. Give me a Don't let the old man get you. This guy's like a muscle man. Kill him. Here, give me a gun, dude. Where'd it go? I've been beginning to think you was having second thoughts. Fuck it out! Huh. Right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Kozlov's coming. And a man like that. Stone this big. He'd kill his own fucking mother for it. I wonder if you could have killed him instead of the old man. Wouldn't we all? I kinda like this guy though. No, no, Frank. The old man was annoying. Cool ending music. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm playing the drums with my motion sticks. Cool, 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 cool. Yay, I beat another game. I'm so good at video games. Smoke your own cigar, that was pretty cool. Make a grab, that's they pulled it away. 
What else we got here? Oh. So what did I not complete? The only reason I didn't flinch from the punch was because I had my eyes closed. <laughs> I, <laughs> see, all these make a grabs when they pull it away were built in. Ah, you can pick a side. Wow, there's seven chapters? I thought there were like three chapters. Oh, it's gonna just repeat. <laughs> Complete all interactions, smoke your cigar. Alright guys, that was London Heist. My computer is about to die, so I will have to go plug that in. Alright, everything's all plugged in. I just have to find the regular controller again. Somewhere in the ground. Alright. Alright, Goldheart and Kill the Rat. Which game do you want me to play? next the games we haven't played are the space one this game that looks terrible scavengers odyssey plug into an all-terrain alien craft explore a dangerous nebula and recover a mysterious artifact 360 degree movement Alright. You've had your chance to vote, and I'm sure it's on a lag. But I will be playing Space Odyssey. To review, so far, the Ocean Game, just the movie, kind of fun, only the shark one. Kind of neat. Zero replay value. I played that once in my life. I never will play it again. The Luge game. Horrible. Makes you sick. Never playing it again. The London game was okay. It's neat to reload and stuff, but it's a lot of work. It's harder than we. I have to jump and grapple and stuff. Oh, God. I mean, this is going to be a disaster. Okay. Grab an object with R1. Jump with that. Turn your head to aim. Press R2 to shoot. Ah, you know what? I ain't got time for that. For too long, you have traveled alone, Pilgrim. Soon you will find your Scavengers Odyssey. Forbidden bounds. Nav point reached. Dropship slowing to sublight speeds. Cryogenic systems disengaged. Initiating suspended animation. Uh, what is this? Protocols. Robocop. Initiate pilot AI symbiosis. Preparing plug-in. Merging of pilot and craft AI.
Scan. Activating. Mark IV. Scavenger craft. Analyzing pilot DNA for identification. Species 68% median, 32% race unknown. Classification underbreed. Number 169QR. The games where they give you the body like this are very, make you very dizzy when you see your body. The luge game, this, kitchen. It's way better when they only show your hand. Looks like we're really going looting in the Forbidden Belt. By all reports, the artifact we're hunting is believed to be here. Every damn lead we follow points to this perilous location. Our dealers all lined up offering more credit than we'd ever seen a hundred life cycles. All we gotta do is find it. Request dropship release holding clamps. Prepare to disembark on landing. Whoa! Dropship's taking damage. Damn it. The clamps release mechanism's fuse solid. We're gonna have to shoot our way out. Bringing weapons online. Take out those consoles and the clamps should auto-release. Scavenger craft navigation waypoint subsystems online. So the aiming is cool. It's just where you look. You don't have to move your uh Move faster by holding L1 to sprint forwards. All right. We've got another dizziness factor happening. The ship's not going to hold together for much longer. Airlock doors have taken a hit. We're sealed in. Use the energy grapple to pull the emergency bolts off the door. To do what? What is this, a key? Open the door. Is it not a key? Cargo base integrity's been compromised. We're at zero G. Ah, this is why. Oh, wow. This is really cool looking, guys. Drop ships down. Looks like a one way trip. Really cool looking. I don't know how to move. There's got to be like gravity jets, right? Hold on. It's going to be tight, but we're going right through that wreck. Wow. Woo. Surely not all these craft were just looking for an artifact. This is very this is really cool. We're taking hits. Shields down to 75%. 53%. What am I supposed to do? Shields critical. We need a safe landing spot. Down to 26%. Landfall dead ahead. Deploying emergency thrusters to slow descent. Shields holding. Surface contact in five. Four. Three, two, uh, I was hoping we'd be in space one. and not on the ground. Forbidden belt reached. Not quite what we had in mind. Shields recharged. Now at 100%. All systems are go. Follow the waypoint while I try to get a read on the artifact. Whoa. 
like anything we've ever seen. Midian crazies talk of an anomaly at the center of the belt. Identifying a huge energy source. It's emanating from the horizon point. Really cool. Sensing disruption to the pilot AI symbiotic. Really cool graphics. Stay with me, scavenger. In the beginning, there was darkness. And in the darkness? And in that gateway. So this is 2001 Space Odyssey, I guess. source of rogue transmission. It must be the remnants of some crazy's data log transmitting from one of the wrecks. This is a very boring game. Scavenger, I'm updating navigation waypoint subsystems. Destination, monolith. Okay, we're gonna need to get ourselves across these asteroids. Activating quadrupedal jump motors. Look at the location you want to jump to, and hold down L2 to engage jump systems. If we can jump there, you'll see a green arrow. Whoa. Let's look for a shelter. Oh my god, this is <laughs> the rest of this. <laughs> oh shit. So what's happening here is you feel like you're falling. Download data by attaching the energy grapple. Data capsule. Midian crews reported an energy source emanating from the monolith at the heart of the Forbidden Belt. It's really cool how massive this. Clearer data. I'd say that's where we start searching for our artifact. Where should I jump? Up here? Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Oh god. <laughs> Just closing my eyes till I land. Spectroscopic readings indicate an alien life form present. What can possibly exist out here? How do you cancel the jump? Experiments by Midian pilots show that holding items in the energy grapple builds up throwing power. On release, scavenged items are launched with great force. Alright. Am I earning trophies? There's a bunch of noises happening. Alien eggs. Are you serious? They're gonna hatch. A little bit of dizziness. Sensors detect a powerful energy source emitting from that crystal entity. Drain it with the energy grapple, and I think I can use it to briefly supercharge our weaponry.
bleeding life forms. They're all around us, trying to get a fix on their location. The guns need to cool down! Scan data. Scientific records suggest it looks like they're showing me all sorts of enemies. Stage. Observations show swarming behavior along with an explosive volatility on physical contact. It's nothing we can't handle. Get away from that egg! What egg. Light him up. Can't fire until the guns have pulled off. Outside this cabin. Whew, they should call this game the game where you jump and you want to throw up. Alright guys, I'm I'm not that's it for me from that. Holy cow, that game makes you sick. Whew. Feels like I just rode a roller coaster like 10 times in a row. I won't be playing that one again. So basically, VR Worlds was a complete waste of time. Minus the shark thing. Which was what I guessed anyway. I'm not even going to try Danger Ball. Man, it's already nine o'clock. What's up, L one? Yeah, the London Heist game was pretty cool. The cutscenes were really cool. And I was just imagining eating dinner with the Baker family in Resident Evil. It's gonna be so cool to sit at the table with the Baker family and they probably look so disgusting. Because in the, uh, in the kitchen demo, uh, Pete, looks so gross. He had like all these hairs coming out of his his face. He looked so disgusting. The bakers are going to look so gross in VR. And I said this before, I don't know if everyone was in here, but Outlast 2 is not going to be VR. And that would be a cool VR game cuz they're chasing you. Now, if you put the helmet up on above your eyes, you can see the game and you can play it. Not in the helmet world, but obviously not fun. I mean, this game's stupid. You're supposed to jump. 
Yeah, that ain't happening. Enter the sport. They <laughs> so they actually, in the advertisement for this game, they say there's a sports game, and it's this. I mean, this looks horrible. So it's Pong. It's 3D Pong. Are you serious? Oh, okay. So I want to get it through. And by the way, I'm playing this without the helmet on. <laughs> so I'm just holding the helmet in my hand. So it's probably part of the reason why I'm sucking. Alright guys, what is hitting me? So that was um, PlayStation Worlds, comes with the bundle, does not come with if you buy the VR by itself, and if you do do that, do not buy it for $40, just don't even think about it. London Heist. Good cutscenes, good action, if you're into that, I'm not. <laughs> it makes you sweat, it makes you work harder than any Wii Sports ever did. It's gonna break your PlayStation Move controllers. Uh, but it was fairly short, it's fun to aim and shoot the different sides, way better than the horror game on the demo disc, the shooter game. Uh, so I don't know, what it, what is that, like a two and a half out of five, maybe three? Scavenger's Odyssey was horrible. It was cool to be in space. And it makes you very sick. Ocean Descent was just a movie, like a demonstration. Very cool. Very cool uh, virtual reality thing. But you, once you play it once, you don't want to ever play it again. VR Luge, they should call it VR Vomit. Because that you'll want to throw up after five seconds playing. And Danger Ball is Pong in 3D. So, this disc may go back into this box and I may never, ever, ever play it again. But, thanks for watching me play it and hopefully you guys got a good idea about how my mood changed from excited to frustrated by the end of this thing. <laughs> Thank you.
There's still a bunch of demos on the demo disc. Obviously, on Friday night, I played three of them. Four of them. I played the Thumper game, which was, eh. I feel like I played a Thumper game like that on Xbox a long time ago. And it was called Thumper. Um... But yeah, there's a bunch of things on that demo disc, but I think I need to not play this again today because of that last game. Um, and if you missed it, I posted the three games that I played first time through with the video camera on my VR helmet thing so you can see me crying like a baby and screaming. And they wouldn't be in your email, so you have to just go to the website. I only sent like one to subscribers, and the other two were like, they weren't private, but they weren't sent out. So nobody's watching those. Whew. And what else is there? So sometime during this week, most likely I'll be on Here's Barry playing more VR demos. I don't know what I want to play for the stream on Friday supposed to be Resident Evil last week before the VR thing got in there um, so it might be Resident Evil 0 again and every time I finish playing the watch count goes up Uh, Resident Evil videos in the works. I don't. I sort of did, I had one about the phone call, but are people even interested in that anymore? We've already guessed that it's Ada. And some other. Another uh, Resident Evil guy called 420. Some 420 guy. The 420 guy. Was guessing it was Shiva from Resident Evil 5 on the phone. Uh, so check his channel out it, you probably I don't know if you guys know that one he does Resident Evil videos too and it was suggested that I do a one-hour recap of everything we know for Resident Evil uh, still trying to figure out if I can do that or not because it would be so boring anyways thanks again Goldheart L1 Kilaret and everybody else for checking this out. I know I saw some other people in and out of the chat earlier. So stay tuned to this and subscribe to this channel if you want more VR stuff because I'll be probably playing again at some point. Check out uh, Where's Barry for all the Resident Evil videos and if any of these VR things are good I'll put them on there. And thanks a lot. Catch you later. And as always, bye, Amanda.